Today we're going to look at exporting a Ghost Inspector test to Selenium format and then using a tool called Selenium Builder to run that on a Selenium server or to convert it to some different coding formats. So I've got a test on Ghost Inspector here that I'd like to export. I'm going to come over to this More menu. You can see I've got two options here for downloading in Selenium. The one we're going to use in this case is uh, the JSON format, which is what Selenium Builder will, will open. So I'm going to download that, and Chrome is going to download it for me. Um, now I'm going to flip over to Firefox here. You can see I've got an extension installed called Selenium Builder. This is a free extension that you can add. Um, and it gives me a, um, an option in the Tools web developer menu to open Selenium Builder. When I open that up, it, it looks like this. Um, so what we can do is use this Open a Script option to open that JSON file that we downloaded. So I'm going to select that file here. And once I open it, you can see it gives me a rundown of the Selenium commands that were in the Ghost Inspector test, which I exported. Um, so a couple of different options here. I can use this run uh, menu and, and run this on a Selenium server. I can put in my Selenium details here to run this somewhere. Um, and then the other option which I can do is to come in a file, file and export. Um, and you can see I get a couple of different formats I can choose from Java, Ruby, Python, Node.js, uh, C Sharp. So a lot of different options here. And what this is going to give me is um, code in the language I select um, using WebDriver to drive these same test steps. So we'll take a look at this Node.js WebDriver option here. It's gonna let me save the test. Um, and then if I flip over to my test editor, uh, code editor, and I open this up, you can see I've got JavaScript um, code for, for Node.js here that's gonna import a WebDriver package and you can see it walking through um, these different steps in the test. So pretty useful for running Ghost Inspector tests externally on Selenium or converting them to code and using them however you'd like. Just one thing to keep in mind here is that um, it's not always a one-for-one -one export from Ghost Inspector because we do a couple of things around some of the more advanced features like file uploads, uh, frames and iframes, pop-up windows, timing settings. We have a few extra features in there um, that we just can't convert one-for-one -one to the Selenium files. So, uh, it's always worth reviewing this and taking a look, doing a couple run-throughs and make sure it's working as you'd expect it to work because there are going to be some subtle differences. Um, so don't just assume because the Ghost Inspector test is passing that this Selenium test is automatically going to pass. It, it's definitely worth taking a look and reviewing it. Um, so that's Selenium Works part. We hope that's helpful for you.